Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chong and I make fashion, beauty, and travel content here on YouTube. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hitting that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload, okay? And besides that, we're just gonna get right into this video. So in today's video, I am actually going to do some lash review. And these lashes are from Yasmi's Lashes and I bought it on her website. If you don't know Yasmi, she's a singer, a songwriter, actress, model, and she's pretty like well known among the Hmong community. Today I'm going to be doing her lash review and first impression. If you're not following me on Instagram, I did already did like a little unboxing there. Go ahead and check my Instagram out if you want to see my first thoughts of which ones I actually liked. Here's one pair of them. I don't know if you guys can even tell. There we go. She was having like a flash deal, 10 of them for like a certain amount. And that's actually really good. Prices of her lashes is kind of expensive. I would say individually, I think they're like $15. I bought these all 10 for like 50 something dollar, which comes to like $5 each, which is like equivalent to like an Ardell lash price range. I will show you guys on like the lash today, like a try on of all the lashes of the different ones and which one was my favorite and if I would recommend these lashes or not. Hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, y'all. So sorry for the lighting. It might not look the best right now, but I can't help it. I'm just working with what I have. So for the first lash that I tried on was Heaven on Earth. And this one was definitely fuller. It was easy to apply and it looked more wispy. The length of the lashes was a little longer. So the second lash is Heart of Gold. And this one really gave me a cat eye wing look. So it was longer on the outer corner of your eyes. The inside of the lash band was shorter. So and it was really natural as well. I would say this one, the Heart of Gold, was very difficult to apply. It could be because of the length of the lash. I don't know what it was. It could just have been me. But yes, this one was particularly harder to apply. And Perfection is the next one. So Perfection is full. Is was easy to apply and it feels like I had nothing on. Again, it's a wispy lash. So it looks very natural. And then the next one is the loyalty. So I have down here easy to apply, natural looking, it fits my eyes and I didn't need to cut them. So again, very natural looking. And the next one is confidence. Now I had here, it was a little pokey in my eyes. So the band was a little longer for my eyes here. But then how the lash looks is that it's fuller in the middle. It looks like a V, so it's fuller in the middle and the outer corners, it's shorter. And then Lucky Charm is the next one. So in Lucky Charm, it really gives you like a glam look. So if you're looking for like the glam look, I would get Lucky Charm. It was really easy to apply and it fits my eyes perfectly. I didn't need to cut it. It gives like a really full glam look. So these lashes are like full. So they're like thicker in like volume. The band was really thin, which I liked about that one. So the next lash is I'm Fancy and I'm Fancy, it was full, the lashes were thicker and so this one is even more dramatic than the Lucky Charm. So if you want like a dramatic glam look, this is it. So if you want a glam look, I would go for Lucky Charm. But if you want like that oomph to it, like the dramatic, I would go with Fancy or I'm Fancy. And this one, surprisingly, I'm Fancy was really easy to apply even though like it was thicker and fuller. So then the next one is the one I have on right now. And this one is Fairyland. So this one is like, wow, in your face. It's like really thick. You know that you have lashes on because this one is again, very full and thick. And this lash in particular had like that crisscross going on. So it gives you like that wispy look. This one definitely is dramatic too. So Fairyland, Lucky Charm and Confidence and Heaven on Earth was like the thicker and fuller lashes where you know that she has lashes on. My personal favorite that I actually didn't mention here because I don't know if I have a try on clip for this one. So the one I did not mention, again, I had two that I couldn't find. Oh no, one that I couldn't find, but the other one is Like a Boss. This one, Like a Boss, was very natural. Again, it has like that cat eye, so it's shorter in the inner corner, but in the outer corner, it's 
um, longer. So this one, I actually wore this one on my Instagram when I was telling you guys that I was doing Instagram reviews. So that one I did wear and that one was like a boss. And then this other one, I forget the name of it, which I'll link, I'll, I'll pop a little, the name here. But that one I could not find anymore and I really love that one too. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me unboxing these when I first received it. So that, check out my Instagram for that. I have it in the little like beauty icon. But those two definitely are my two favorite. Three things that I really want to kind of point out and for things just to consider is the bands. So some of the bands were thinner than others. I noticed that and I felt that was kind of inconsistent and I wish that was not the case because I personally love a thin band. A thin band would have been like better if it was all of them. So I don't know if it's like the fault of the manufacturer. Like the band was inconsistent. Uh, another point or thing to consider is that some of the lashes, like when the wispy ones, it, there's the shorter ones on the band. There's like some small ones. They were getting caught onto the glue when I was kind of applying the glue onto the lash band. And that was getting kind of annoying. So my hands were sticky, so it's just a hot mess. Another thing is the price point. I would say this lash at like the full price is $15. And I would say that's a little bit more expensive than lashes I've purchased in the past. So at that price point, I'm not sure if it's really worth it unless you can wear it more than I would say. For me, if I can wear more than 10 times, it's probably worth, definitely worth the money, 15. But if I can only wear it like once or twice, probably not so overall i do actually really love these lashes and i would repurchase these again i only wish one thing was that she could let us pick the lashes instead of instead of like just getting 10 different kind i wish we could pick the ones that we like i think that would be really cool i mean she might already have that i just might not be aware of it but i think that would be cool especially with her bundle i know the bundle i bought this time it just came with like 10 different ones which is cool if you want to try the different lashes but i think for a second round if i wanted to buy these again i would want to buy the ones that i want and love instead of like buying ones i don't i know i wouldn't wear as often but yeah that's the only thing i would suggest for her anyways i hope you have enjoyed this video and hopefully found it useful for especially for my mom's sisters out there who wants to really try her lashes and don't really know if it's really worth the money. I hope you have a good night or day wherever you are. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. I'm gonna walk a hundred miles. I'm gonna whistle all the while. If that's what it takes to make me smile.